Alright, so we done part here. Now we go for the performa income statement for 2018. This one is your expected. So you need to have a 30%. So first of all, you need to have a sale figure. So projected sales, right? So when you projected sales, you need to know in the item. So from the actual, you multiply by 1.3. So you will get... 19,000, 19.5 million, okay? So, seems also for the net income, alright? You do to find the net income, same margin, right? So, but you need to use the projected sales. That's why I need you to do line by line, okay? The projected sales, you will get a new, um, new net income, okay? So last year we get 900,000 now we get 1.1 uh, million. So what is the same? The same is the ratio. The similar is the ratio, okay? Not the figure, okay? The figure will be based on sales. That's why this uh, question is say the percent of sales method. This is the crucial part. If you wrong here, we will be do do we will be wrong entire question, okay? So, now we need to know here we have a dividend payout. So, we just okay to calculate a dividend payout. Now, we calculate dividend payout. How to calculate a dividend payout is uh, 0.10% from projected income. This one. Okay, 10% you will get 100. Okay, so you will get this one. Alright, so you copy your balance sheet exactly the same okay so this one all right so you copy the same and when you have this ratio okay when you have this ratio what i want to do is you multiply with the actual meaning that uh you have 0.01 you multiply, you will get this one, okay? Meaning that, I will show you, you will get 0 0.01 multiply with, with our projected sales. So, you will get this one. See? How I got the figure, I, I will repeat it again. The margin and then you multiply with the projected sale. So, you will get same. Okay. So, this item, you proceed with all this. Okay. When you multiply with projected sale. Okay. This one, this ratio, multiply with projected sales. And then you total up the total asset. Okay. You will get 7150. So you transfer first. Okay, account must be valid, right? So we do not know yet. Is it's right or wrong? No problem. Okay. So we we propose the unchanged. Okay, unchanged is same amount. So no need to calculate and then unchanged here. No need to calculate. And then common stock, no need to calculate. Okay, then this one have we in charge. We have the ratio. So, uh, we have the ratio. Now, we calculate same with the projected sales. Okay. Okay, this one has a projected sales. Okay. Then, you da done. You already, already nearly to finish your, your need. Then, we go to step 4, how to calculate additional return earning, okay? How to calculate additional return earning. So, the formula of return earning is the actual here plus the net income minus the, this one, okay? So, you will get. The new written in it is a 2653 
million so you okay this is how I repeat again how to calculate a new return earning okay this one the actual plus the projected net income minus this one and then you will get the same so in this area you need to calculate okay Alright, so we already get 7150, right? So when you have, we, we need to uh, calculate this one and then how to get the extra fund needed, okay? How much is the extra fund needed? It's so simple. You just here, the total asset minus the, the return, I mean, the total of uh, total liability and total you here you okay you minus long common stock minus long term liability and minus the ni and then minus the accrual minus the a and minus this one okay so you will get two four zero. Okay. But if you only want to so this is the extra fund needed. But in the easiest way is you total up first, like you have a total return earning and everything. You sum this one. Okay, you total up everything when you get the need okay and then you will get the total amount here okay you get nine six four zero right so you just total asset minus the this one the minus of total everything ah, okay the total everything this one item from here to here okay i'm so sorry because it's a limited space that's why I'm not total yet, but you can know, right? So, this item, you need to total up first after you calculate your return earning. Here, you need to calculate your return earning. In this one. Okay. So, after you get this one, you total up this one. You total this one. You total everything. Then, you multiply. This one, the answer. So, this, we already produce the performa. We also extra funds needed. Okay, I hope you understand how to uh, find. Uh, that's all from me. And then we can see the full view. So this is the uh, format that I suggest to you. I think that's all. I hope that you can um, do this exercise. which is very simple. But I, I will repeat it again. You need to find this area first. Okay, these three items is very important. Then you get the ratio. You calculate all ratio. How to get a ratio? This one divided by this one. The sales, okay? Figure sales. So, this is very important. And then you start to do in the top part. Then you proceed to do the to do the this thing, okay? This one you need to calculate, alright? Okay? This one extra fund needed is total asset minus total liability minus total equity okay then you will get extra fund needed all right okay you base can be for two hour notes okay i think uh that's all thank you for listening and watching this video assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh